Hi, it's Chris Schrack, success coach and owner of Performance with Power. In the next few days, we're closing out the quarter. How are you doing so far? For those of you that claim that this year was going to be the best year you've ever had, how are you doing? I know some of you are absolutely crushing it this year. Your quarter, last quarter, feels like this. That's how mine felt. Or maybe last quarter for you felt like this. This is what Peralta throws up there. <laughs> Alvarez, always entertaining. Win for the Twins. And Gomez trying to hit it into. Uh, wow. I think the. I hope not. I hope your quarter last quarter was better than that. I apologize for those of you that don't like baseball, but I hope you understand the analogy. Some of us are absolutely crushing our results and some of us are stifled and we're not getting where we want to be. I believe in what's called full spectrum success. Real success is never just about the money or financial results. Full spectrum success is creating success and wins in four significant areas of our lives. Health and wellness, relationships, our vocation, and in rewards for ourselves the way we celebrate this thing called life. There are five steps I take at the end of each quarter to make sure I'm on track. And today I'm gonna to share with you the first three. I had one of the best quarters I've ever had in personal and business this last quarter, but I always know there's room for growth. Step one is to review my results from last quarter. Take a few minutes and do a self-evaluation over the last quarter's results. Let's consider the four areas I mentioned already. Use a simple formula. Let's say on a scale of one to five, five being the highest rated score, meaning you couldn't have done any better if you tried, and one being, oh my gosh, I've got a lot of work to do in this area. So on a scale of one to five, how would you rate yourself last quarter around your health and wellness? Your physical health, eating, exercise, did you get enough sleep, do you feel rested? Do you have high energy? Are you stress-free? Are you clear-minded? Do you just feel overall healthy? Do you have a positive attitude? On a scale of one to five, where are you around your health and wellness? Relationships. How did you do in the area of relationships in your life last quarter? On a scale of one to five, did you communicate well? Did you serve the relationships in your life? Did you put in extra effort to do your part? either with your significant other, family members, co-workers, friends, leaders, yourself, and even spiritual relationship. How did you do on a scale of one to five? Vocation. Over the last quarter on a scale of one to five, did you earn the income you expected? Did you go for the promotion you wanted? Were you satisfied in doing the work that you do for a living? Did you step into your best business self in effort? Did you put more effort in than the peers in your industry? And lastly, the rewards. Did you do something fun or make a decision or plan something to celebrate your success last quarter? Did you take or book that vacation you've been wanting to go on? Did you purchase that new thing? Did you buy a gift for someone? Put more money into your savings plan or give some money away to charity? Do you feel expansive in the area of rewarding yourself at the highest level last quarter? On a scale of one to five, how would you rate yourself on rewards over the last three months? So now we have our ratings in each one of the most significant areas of our life, full spectrum success. The next step, step two, is to make a decision. From your analysis of last quarter, make a decision on what areas you're gonna improve the next quarter. Maybe you love your results right where they're at and you decide to not do anything, to change nothing. Maybe some areas you'd really love to improve. Regardless, with clarity, what do you want to do to improve your results this next quarter? Make a decision on that. I want to remind you, in life, there's no such thing as neutral. We're either making progress forward or we're going backward. Idle doesn't exist. So I'd highly recommend leaning towards a decision of improving some area of your life. In step three, Create a plan with some action steps and get taking action on that now. This next quarter is going to feel 
like it goes by faster than last quarter, and I can't even imagine that. Look how fast last quarter went. Figure out a plan, have an intention, and put some action steps into creating results that you would love. If you'd like to create the best quarter of your year, and you're not quite sure how to do that on your own, or you'd like some extra support, make sure to reach out to me at chris at performancewithpower.com. Maybe that's one of the best action steps you can take this year to change everything. At Performance With Power, we believe that your next decision can change the rest of your life, so let's make some great decisions. <music>